I guess I don't think about what kind of impact I'm having. I let that up to God. And in the meantime, I just try to live, you know, the way I should be living <laughs> as, as a Franciscan sister of Christian charity. And that God plant the seeds and, and bring about the fruit from there. My name is Sister Mary Beth Cornelli, and um, I'm a Franciscan Sister of Christian Charity, and our home mother house is in Manitowoc, Wisconsin. I know that a lot of times the sisters have made an impact because a lot of times the, the people here will say, well, what is, so, what, what is this sister doing? Where is she? Can I have her address? I'd like to write to her. Uh, you know, they want to know what's happened to the sisters that have been here. So they've had an impact on people. I, I love that because, like I said, I love Yuma. I could stay in Yuma my whole life despite not enjoying the climate at all. <laughs> but I could stay here my whole life and not be disappointed just because, I mean, it's so wonderful to have the experience of loving and being loved. And it just feels like such a healthy thing because I love these kids and I know they know that. And that just feels, I mean, there's something so wonderful about knowing that people receive your love and then like kind of empowering them to reciprocate. And it's just such a beautiful thing. Like it really, like you said, I wake up every morning very happy to go to school and I never thought that would happen. <laughs> and so I was not planning on being a teacher necessarily initially and it's just been the best. I love these kids. We, our mission is to go to rural areas, although this is, uh, Yuma is 90,000 people, it still has a rural feeling to it. Yeah, so I love Yuma Catholic. I, I just love the people here. And I, I called my parents once and they were asking me about Arizona and stuff like that because my parents live back in Wisconsin where our mother house is. And I said, to be honest, I don't like the landscape, I don't like the climate, but I could stay here forever because I love the people. That's my favorite thing here is the people, it sounds cheesy, but they're warmer than the climate. They're just so welcoming and warm and just honest and like what you see is what you get. And it just makes me like, I just really love being able to be here. And I thank God every day for that gift. We said in the beginning, what did God create? Does anybody remember the line, the opening line of Genesis 1? It says, in the so beginning when God So I teach God five created, periods of freshman theology, so I have all the freshmen, and that is a load of fun. Freshmen are, high schoolers are one of my favorite breeds of humans, but freshmen are especially fun because they, they believe anything you tell them. <laughs> and, and I tell them truthful things, but it, they're still fun. They're, they're a load of fun and just sweet kids. And then I also teach one period of public speaking, which I'm not technically qualified to teach, but... Nobody asked. <laughs> my favorite thing of all is that I coach. And so I was asked my first year there at Yuma Catholic, I was asked to be the track coach because they'd see me out running. So come on over. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have you gather. And if you want to sit in a circle, we need to have a little meeting. And I'm not necessarily hugely qualified to do this. I ran cross country in college but that's distance and track is mostly sprinting, but we've got a good team, like a, a lot of kids out. I think last year our roster was 70 kids. So I've been doing the track coaching the last four years and I have a great group of assistant coaches. And then last year I was asked to do cross country and that is right up my alley because that's the distance running. I got that and everybody's doing the same thing. It's a lot easier to organize and stuff. And it's a load of fun. I think we have 35 kids on the roster this year, so a lot of kids, um, but we have a good time. So just the heat, that's the biggest thing for us. I am the assistant coach, so I help uh, Sister Mary. We are the only uh, sister, pastor, combination, cross country and track head coach and assistant coach in Yuma, or maybe in the country, who knows? Maybe in the world. Sister is so great, and we have so many kids out cross country because of her. She has a wonderful relationship with the kids, and she can't go anywhere. She has to stay here. So I just uh, want to encourage that. For anybody who has any decision making power, always keep her here. Uh, my favorite thing about Sister is by far like her enthusiasm. Everything she does, whether it's cross country, whether it's teaching us, whether it's God, like she always gives her 100, and like I feel like I get that as well. 
I just really love being able to be here and I thank God every day for that gift. Uh, just like the gift of the people in my life, I think, is really the biggest thing for me. Um, and then to be able to teach theology, right, like to be able to bring Christ to these kids and in and, and their lives and then to be able to see him reflected in them. I mean, they bring, they bring me a lot. I mean, I just love it. I love it. I think it, you know, nowadays especially, they don't see many sisters. And so for them to see somebody, at least it makes them aware, you know, that we're around and um, that we're, you know, human beings, just, you know, regular people like them, but, you know, ones who love God and want to serve God and, and uh, you know, it's possible to do that. <laughs> and, you know, so hopefully, you know, you never know what kind of seeds are planted in them or just the kindness that we can show them. And, you know, we, we just want to show them in a sense who God is and, you know, by showing them the kindness and mercy and love that God has for them. I think the people think it's very important to be here for, you know, that we be here. I think they would miss us very much if we weren't here because I think we add uh, a sense of Christianity and of Christ and Christ's presence that um, they would miss. Maybe not by what we say, but by what by what we do in, the, in our act, you know, just by who we are. I think it's really important just in the sense that I didn't meet my first sister till I was a freshman in high school either. And I get like growing up it, we, we're just growing up in a different era than our parents or grandparents who just grew up around sisters all the time. And so I think it's really important for us as sisters to be present. And like I said, beyond just the classroom, I think it makes a difference to be a presence in the community that the community knows that we're there. And that's why I really value like we wear a habit in the sense that people recognize us just like a policeman or a fireman and you know they're safe. I can't even tell you the number of times, like I was saying, of people who come up and just want to talk or share or, or cry or, or whatever. And I really appreciate that. And I think for the kids to see sisters is a good thing because it dispels some of the myths that they've heard or things like that from other people. But also I think just to be human, right? Like to see that one of my kids made me a bumper sticker that says sisters are people too, right? And, and like that idea that yeah, like we're human just like anybody else. We like to have fun, we make mistakes, right? Like all of those things and to see, but you can still live a life dedicated to the Lord and God is enough that you can still be so like filled with joy and things like that. I'm happier than I ever thought I could be. And it's, it's great, I thank God for that every day.